and welcome to Here Tutoring. This video is an introduction to and overview of the ACT math test. So what do you need to know about the ACT math test? In this video we're going to go through five key things you should know about the ACT math test. First, the math test is the second section of the ACT and it comes right after the ACT English test. It's 60 minutes long and has 60 questions. Here's a breakdown of the concepts that will show up on the ACT math test. According to the ACT website, there are three major categories of concepts on the ACT math test. Pre-algebra slash elementary algebra, intermediate algebra slash coordinate geometry, and plane geometry slash trigonometry. Now, more specifically, here's the breakdown of each of these categories. For the pre-algebra slash elementary algebra section, there will be 20 to 25 percent or 12 to 15 questions on pre-algebra, and 15 to 20 percent or 9 to 12 questions on elementary algebra. For the intermediate algebra slash coordinate geometry section, there will be 15 to 20 percent or 9 to 12 questions on intermediate algebra and 15 to 20 percent or 9 to 12 questions on coordinate geometry. For the plane geometry slash trigonometry section, there will be 20 to 25 percent or 12 to 15 questions on plane geometry and 5 to 10 percent or 3 to 6 questions on trigonometry. The second thing you should know about the ACT math test is that the questions generally go from easier to harder, which will affect your timing for this test. We'll cover more specifically the plan we should have for the ACT math test in one of our strategy videos. The third thing you should know about the ACT math test is that you can miss more questions on this test and still get the same score as on some of the other tests. So the grading is relatively lenient-ish. Generally speaking, if you got two-thirds of the questions right on the math test, you would end up with a score that is about three points higher than if you got two-thirds of the questions right on the English test. So, although you should still do your best on the test, just know that the grading isn't as strict as for the English test and for maybe some of the other tests. The fourth thing you should know about the ACT math test is that you don't have to follow the rules you normally follow for school math tests. You don't have to show your work and you don't have to do the questions from the beginning and you don't have to do them in order. There are a lot of tricks, strategies, and shortcuts you can use uh, to do the questions quicker and more efficiently and more effectively. And we will cover these math strategies in our strategy videos. Some of these strategies might feel like cheating, but they're actually just smart ways of doing certain kinds of questions. The fifth thing you should know about the HT math test is that you'll be more rushed than the, for the English test, but probably not more rushed than for the reading and science tests, as long as your math skills are relatively strong. If you know your math concepts, you should be able to finish with time to spare. But whether you finish early or not, you should definitely spend every minute working on and checking over questions. The 10 minute break comes right after the math test, and you want to enter this break on a strong note. And now that you know the basics of the ACT math test, it is time to look more specifically at the best strategies to use for this test. In the first ACT math strategies video, we're going to talk about why you should work faster at the beginning of the test. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.